What is going on my peeps man versatile is back with another video back here to talk about the Galaxy Z Flip 3 Yes, this baby in all his glory <laughs> check that baby out right there. Oh Yes, the box very simple very very <laughs> very simple. <laughs> we'll probably get into that too 72 hours later or three days later. How has the phantom black edition or phantom black color variant of the Galaxy Z Flip 3 been? The last three days yes i have been thoroughly enjoying this phone some things i didn't notice some things that i did notice late and some of the things that you know we're going to get into do i have a slight problem with these i don't want to say it's a slight problem i think it's a choice that i wish samsung could have continued with the z flip 3 over the galaxy z flip now that might be surprising because i have been speaking much praises about how much better the z flip 3 is over the z flip it literally feels like a brand new phone it feels like a phone and a flip phone i was actually telling that to travis mcp <laughs> oh on twitter he may have been confused but we're going to get into what i'm being by that now before we get into a lot of the details if you guys haven't already make sure you guys ignite the like button subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so that we know miss my videos then we can sit back chillax see what's cracking and also let me know down in the comment section below have you decided to invest into the galaxy z series whether it's the z fold 3 or the z flip 3 Three. Are you interested? Are you still waiting? Do you have one of these already? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now, let's get into the video. What is one of the things I have been enjoying over the last three days? The heft and the, sol the, the, the solidity of this phone. It, this is what I mean when I say it feels like a phone is because when it's open, you almost forget that it, it oh, excuse me box. You almost forget the fact that it's a flip phone that's how solid this phone has been you you the back you almost don't even feel this here when you're holding it and because it's so solid now granted again it's three days we'll see how this goes in about a month or so after a, a little bit of wear has worked into the hinge but when it's open like this it it feels so much better in the hand than the z flip did and that's because of the improvements to the design of the frame and i have been really really enjoying that that's one of the biggest things one of my biggest takeaways about the phone is the redesign of the hinge and the color yes it is phantom or matte black the mystic gray i also loved on the z flip 5g because it hit fingerprints and all that and that's a thing that we all seem to like right now is hiding fingerprints but this phone and the color is so much better. Now, it's funny with some of these little <laughs> uh, widgets on the front here with the cover screen. I've been enjoying the cover screen as well. You definitely get a lot more information with the cover screen. You can't reply yet though. Maybe that might come in a software update, but you can't reply, but you can at least view everything and the widgets that are available, including the clock styles for the cover screen have actually been pretty interesting and I've been enjoying that. You can change the color of the font as well for the cover screen and it's been very, very good. One of the widgets that people actually kind of don't know that you can access with this is outside of the clock, if you swipe, you have music, you have your weather, you have your timer, you have your Samsung health, and you also have a widget for the Galaxy Buds 2. And maybe they'll have them for the Galaxy Buds and or Buds Plus slash Buds Pro as well. But you can actually control whether or not you have touch controls act touch control active or, and or control your ambient sound right there from the home screen or your cover screen or the home screen of the cover screen so that's one of the things i've also been enjoying with this phone i have also enjoyed some of the pictures from this phone i have been pleased that the cameras have been much more optimized i heard that it wasn't completely new tech in, in the cameras yet but they are significantly better than the galaxy z flip 5g so and, I, and there's evidence of that when using it now what's one of the slight problems or slight uh, it's not even a problem per se but i wish it, what is that one item that i wish samsung could have continued over from the z flip 5g to the z flip 3 well that is the frost on the cover screen now i don't know if it's because it's bigger they needed to actually you know essentially laminate with glass but the frosted finish on the smaller cover screen for the z flip 5g was frosted over so it also hid fingerprints so when you're considering fingerprints for this that's the one place you're going to see them is on the cover screen glass slash camera module glass and that's one thing i wish they could have continued over from the z flip to the z flip 3 is frosted glass there so outside of that not much of a problem 
so far I have still kept the screen protector on on the inside. I haven't even really noticed that it's there other than when I look at the selfie camera. But for a phone like this and for a thousand dollars, there should be things that you appreciate and or enjoy and not notice a lot of things. A lot of people like to talk about the, the crease and you see it when certain light hits it. I like using dark backgrounds anyway just to preserve battery life. But you're going to notice the crease. And I think that's one of the things that, of course, we can mention, you know, Samsung, please continue to make up, upgrades and updates, improvements to the crease for us foldables. But it's going to be there because of the limits of technology now and w what makes sense for the phone. It makes sense for a crease to be there because the, the, the phone has the fold over and crease. So that's one thing, you know, keep in mind the crease will be there and you really won't pay attention to it like that when you're using the phone. And great segue into flex mode it's much more sturdy um and again it might just because the phone may not be completely broken in yet it's been three days but with the z flip 5g i felt like if it hit a certain angle it didn't really like to stay as much and then you know as you keep going then it will finally just you know completely open what i've enjoyed with this is i've been able to even have it like slightly like that just ever so slightly so I can read stuff like this a lot better and I don't have to have the phone either kind of way. And it helps with my neck posture and everything. So I like the fact that you can slightly flex this phone a lot better than the Z Flip 5G. And that's just compliments to the R&D, the constant R&D investment into the hinge and the overall design of foldable. So Samsung definitely did their thing there. And battery life. A lot of people have had questions about, Will, how's the 3300 milliamp battery? Is it so is it feasible <laughs> can you can you make it through with the 3300 milliamp battery well over the last three days of course it's been improving in terms of how long the phone has been able to stay alive with the screen on time fluctuating in between for me don't really use screen on time as a measure for battery life because you can have something playing for five six seven straight hours and only get like 10 hours of use out of your phone yeah, it may have great battery life, but your phone also only lasted eight to 10 hours. Whereas your phone can last 20 to 24 hours and beyond, and you may have two to three screen uh, hours of screen on time, maybe four, most likely four, and but your phone lasted throughout the day. So depending on if you're a typical, you know, eight to five, or essentially your, your peak hours of using your phone is from like 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., I feel like your phone will last until 7 or 8 p.m. with no problems before you have to pretty much put it on the charger. Now, is that, you know, 5%, 10%? I'm, I, I would lean more in the 15 to 20% range. And that's probably with you using it, uh, you know, throughout. But if you take this off the, the charger for the night and then you let it run over through the day and then you start your day, your phone will probably last you till about 5 or 6 p.m. the next day. So you're looking at almost a 24 hour day with the Z Flip 3 running off that 3300 milliamp battery. Of course, we hope that Samsung can put more emphasis into the battery. It does feel a little bit thicker or feel it feels like they could have at least squeezed another two to 300 milliamps in this. We've seen phones from them with like 3700 milliamps. So it would have been nice to see 3700 in this. We wouldn't have mind a little bit of additional thickness with this phone because it's already in a smaller package. But for 3,300 milliamps and for the, the style of the phone, you can get decent battery life out of the Z Flip 3 without any worries. The only thing I would say, it, you know, or have a concern with, and hopefully it will be a concern no more with the Z Flip 4 and, you know, future flip phones, <laughs> is the fast charging capabilities the fast and the fast wireless charging capabilities. See, with this phone, you only get 10... I think you get fast charging up to 10 watts and then it charges at 15 watts. So, and maybe it's considered fast charging, but that's pretty low for a $1,000 phone with a 3,300 milliamp battery because we should be able to at least achieve 25 watt charging and 25 watt fast wireless charging or 18 watt fast wireless charging. You know, something that will at least take advantage of charging this back up that much faster since it's not as many milliamps as 4,000 or 4,400. So I will say in terms of battery life, it is good. You will be able to enjoy your phone with no worries, but we do hope that Samsung can improve that going forward. And these are just my 
thoughts over the last three days since using this phone of course i will have another video you know around a week to see how things have turned out how has the phone been learning my usage patterns and has battery life improved or stayed steady from that perspective so be on the lookout for my one week review of the galaxy z flip 3. let me know down in the comment section below what are some things you're looking forward to hear about the galaxy z flip 3 as well and of course i would try to talk about that or be on the lookout for that to then make mention of that in future videos also be on the lookout for my playlist on my channel because i have playlists for all the content pretty much that i've done uh all the several samsung devices i have i have playlists for each one of those devices uh, google devices oneplus devices i have them all listed my after hours podcast i have playlists made for those on my channel so if you actually go to the channel and you just want to hear or see content for a specific device from samsung i most likely will have it so, you know, again, check those out if you guys haven't already there as well. But again, as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit the like, like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, so that way you never miss my videos, and we can sit back and see what's cracking. But your man Verso is signing out. Until the next video, wait for oh.